That's my audience. Thank you guys for coming out. My name is Andrew Kotler, and I'm here to talk about why, why you need positivity in your life. Did you know people rarely, people rarely succeed unless they're having fun? Think about it for a second. When's the last time you tried to do something and you went into it with a, with a negative attitude? Most likely, if you went into it with a negative attitude, you did not have fun doing it. So, if you would try to go into it with as a, if you would go into it with a fun, positive attitude, you're most likely going to enjoy it. For instance, um, I'm sure all of you guys here, because everyone here is uh, attending California University of Pennsylvania, I'm sure all of you have have, have oral qualms. So let's use this for a video. Some of you guys may hate public speaking. You may hate it. So if you go into the class and you go into a video and you're thinking, oh man, I don't want to do this, you're most likely going to hate the class. But if you like change your mindset of it and you say, okay, well, I can do this, or it's only a class, you know, it's for points, if I do good on a video, I can do it, you're most likely going to enjoy the class more than you thought you would do it. Another reason why I am do using this as a topic to be more positive as, as the example I use because everyone has to take a little con class is, what is it right now? Or what is it next week? Next week is finals week. That is, you know, everyone stresses, over stresses about finals week. You hear people complain about it from about this and that, every little small detail. Meanwhile, half the time, it's not even that big of a deal. Um, an interesting statistic is, did you know, I'm sure everyone in their life knows somebody who is that negative, positive person. You either have that person in your family or as a friend. They're negative, complaining about everything. Well, those kind of people, on average, they live seven years less than a person who is a more positive person. So that's something to ponder about after this video. So let's let's face it. After these background information that I that I've given you, worrying make worrying does not help anybody. It does not cause any good for anything, and it is quite frankly a terrible thing. It is a cancer in your life. So what can you do? On so what can you do about that? Well, one thing is to, is to implement more fun in your life. Now, whatever that may be, I don't know what you think is fun, what makes you happy, do that. If you're a parent, maybe it's more spending time with your, if you, with your son or daughter. Or maybe it's spending more time with your cat or dog. You know, whatever, what is more fun for you? Whether, like I said, those things, or whether it's working out, or simply just playing video games or watching your favorite series on Netflix. What makes what is fun for you? What makes your life more enjoyable? Do that. It's take time out of your life to do that. Don't be stressing about homework or writing this paper and whatnot. You're going to overstress yourself out, and you're and, and it's going to reflect on your personality, and that's going to transfer over to family and friends, and they're going to see that. Take the time out and make fun for yourself. Another thing you can do. Be more positive about things. One thing to, do, one way to be more positive is ending the day with a smile on your face. Now, being more positive about stuff—that's that's tough, I know. But if you're more positive, it's going to reflect. Like an example I used before, for this oral calm class, go into it with a positive attitude, and it's not going to be as bad as your negative friend may say it actually is. Um, uh, second point is just simply enjoy life. I mean, it's why would you? All right, think back for a second. Like, why would you waste so much time being negative about things, being mad about this, mad about that? Just enjoy and just go with the flow. How many times? Think back the time right now. You're right there. Think back the time about you know this, that something happened and you thought it was the worst thing in the world. Okay, and then. Think, think of it now. It, it wasn't that bad, right? Exactly. It's not as bad as things aren't always, as, my, my point I'm trying to make, things aren't always as bad as they may seem. It's just in the heat of the moment. So, like I say, just enjoy life. Um, 
a third thing that is very hard to do that people need to work on and especially that everyone here can relate is you're in college right now accept your own failures that's a key thing that not just in school in life you're gonna fail there's no one that's gonna ex exceed in everything they do Michael Jordan Sidney Crosby um, every the best of the best they fail and they fail and they fail I just read a book um, in my sports society class. It's called Balance. I'm sure I don't know if any other people have, people have read that before. It um, the book talks about accepting failure. It says that like the best of the best fail. So you know whether that's like the book for an example uses ice skating. Ice skating, you're not born with a talent of ice skating. You have to work on your craft and fail and fail again. You're gonna fall on your ass ice skating thousands of times before you get remotely average and then good you have to practice so accept the failure and learn from your failure now after this background details I want you to imagine yourself imagine imagine yourself happy what you need to do to be happy so what you need to do is just be positive and enjoy life and go and just be, be just be positive if you trick your mind at, all right. Every time you wake up in the morning, I want you to think it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a happy day. Put a smile on your face and do what makes you happy. Um, I've taken psych, I've taken psychology classes here on campus, whether that's general psych or a more advanced version of psych and sports psychology. I've taken those, and you can you can honestly psychologically trick your mind into something. Like I said before, going into something with a more positive attitude than a negative attitude, that's not like tricking your, that's not like just a mindset. That is, you can psychologically trick your mind into something, make it more enjoyable. That is actually something you can do, believe it or not. So that's what I want from you. I want each one of you to think that. This is, today is Friday. Next Friday is the final. Is the last day of finals week. So I want each one of you next week to wake up, to smile on your face, and do what makes you happy. Don't ever stress about finals. I want you to. I still want you to study and do stuff about and do your reports about finals, but do it with a more positive attitude. Take some time out of studying. Do something enjoyable, and I promise you, you'll see positive results. Thank you for attending.